Well, y'all, it's been one of them dang weeks. <laughs> Monday, I dropped my boat in to go do some night cat fishing, and uh, the first thing that happened is my trolling motor started smoking. It's a micro switch that malfunctioned, and uh, I was about to catch fire. So I put it back on the trailer because I'm just not fond of having a smoking boat in the middle of the night. So that didn't work too well. Uh, Tuesday, I went kayak fishing. I went from 6.30 in the morning to about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I didn't catch anything. <laughs> so I came back home, spent the rest of Tuesday and Wednesday diagnosing the problem, trying to figure out what was going on. Finally narrowed it down to that switch. <clears throat> Got the part ordered. I gotta get these guys out before I go. <laughs> That's cookie. She's like a little fur ball. <laughs> anyway, today is Thursday, and I am going to try my hand at sight fishing. I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> the water is pretty dang warm. It's like 85 to 90 degrees, depends on where you go, how clear the water is. And I know during the uh, high afternoon, the fish are definitely going deep. I talked to a fisherman the other day, and he said he was catching them out of 30 foot of water. So, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm going to give it a shot. I promised you guys the vids would start flowing again this week, and I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Anyway, that part should be here on the 21st. So... Hopefully that's it for a while. This, the spots I've been talking about all freaking year now, the catfishing spots, they're starting to feel like elusive. And I'm starting to feel like this boat hates me, man. It just hates me. Uh, it just needs a lot of work, that's all. It's been neglected. First thing in the morning, spider webs. Got a little frog in my throat. Nice and quiet this morning. Should be a pretty good day for sight fishing. No wind, high sun. Anyway, the conditions will be right, so all we need are a fish. I got my uh got my handy dandy crawfish tied on. Oop, tree. But I did bring some lizards and some worms, just in case. Some big red worms. Just in case uh, they don't feel like eating crawfish today. I think I'm going to be a little bit early. This spot uh, really gets good about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. The sun gets perfect where you can see really good. But I'm worried that the later it goes, the more likely that it, more likely they're going to go deep and uh, you know, I can't catch them sight fishing if they're deep <laughs> so I'm kind of threading the line here I can't believe how dirty it is we had a north wind blowing uh, the last couple of days and north wind hits this shore it hits all along this shore I guess it's got everything stirred up but it should clear out as the day goes Hopefully it didn't take too long. I think I'm going to put you guys away. By the time I get this camera set up, the bass are gone. So I can't uh, I can't keep up with them. <laughs> so. Sorry guys, it's going to be chesty. Oh, 
There's something up here. It might be a guard though. What is that? It's a drum. Let's see if I can catch this guy. Is it a drum? No, it's a bass. I can't tell from here. The sun's all funky. Oh, here come the bass. See him? bunch of them suckers. Look at them. You probably can't see them very well. But there's like 10. Yep. That's where y'all gonna go. For once, I didn't get the smallest one. <laughs> oh, got you down there. There we go, y'all. <laughs> They're just staring at me. I wonder if I can catch another one. Put him back. There's the group. Let me get back up here. Some bass. Here comes some bass. Whole group of them, right there. It's a little one. A whole bunch of them. See them? They're all trying to take it out of his mouth. Don't want to spook everybody. Get out of there. Littlest one, buddy. You gotta be the littlest one. You guys with a size impediments, you have a little problem. Oh, you're warm. There we go, guys. Side fishing. <laughs> In the middle of August. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I see a bass right there. I almost walked right past him. He's not very big. Yeah, everybody is so damn spooky. Got it.
It's tiny, but it's been a minute, y'all. Look at you. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Come here. Okay. What is a little cooler over here? Hey, good buddy. It's a coyote. Oh, look, it's a coyote. It's a pup. Holy crap. That's the first one I've seen here. <laughs> Oh, I had him. Oh, I got him. I think that's the drum. Yes. No, it's a small mouth. Pretty decent small mouth. Dude, that's so you've been eating on them bluegill. It's a fatty. <laughs> Look at that. You been eating them bluegill? Huh? Guilty. You got that guilty look in your eye. There you go. Get you out deeper. Nice mama. Oh, got him. <laughs> that was just luck. I didn't see him at all. He's tiny. Very tiny. Throwing yourself on the shore. Come here. That wasn't the two I saw. They were much bigger than this. I guess he was just hanging out over there. Come here. Hang on, you little turd. Oh, well, you were good. Oh, good. Little turd. Y'all, I think it's that time of day. I haven't seen anything in quite a while. It's a bluegill on drum. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that bad of a day. I wouldn't say it was amazing, but it was. Eh, it was okay. <laughs> I mean, I caught fish. I think the biggest one was a smallmouth. But y'all don't be fooled just because I'm just showing mostly the catches I probably tried to catch 15, 15 bass and failed. So I don't know if I got four or five, but so I had 20 attempts. I got five out of 20 attempts and I could not for the life of me get a drum to bite. So and there was probably like, I probably tried like eight, eight times on drum. So.
<laughs> it's hard. It's a hard way of fishing, but man, it's such an adrenaline rush. I love it. Freaking love it. But it's August. It's mid August. I think today's 17th? I don't know. 16th, 17th. And uh, the wolf packs, they're not, they're not swimming the shoreline that much yet. We had a couple, but that's not nearly what it's going to be like in like mid, late September. When that hits this whole shelf right here, they'll just be going back and forth, back and forth, looking for bluegill to eat. And uh, that's the best time to catch them down here. Not, not now. I just... I just wanted to do it, so that's what I did. Oh yeah, August is the hardest month of the year for me in this lake to catch anything. <laughs> so y'all, thanks for watching. Tight lines. I should have my boat up and running in the next week. Oh, oh bass. Big bass, big bass, bigger bass. Oh no. Make that twenty one attempts. <laughs> I must have, I stepped on a rock. I made some kind of noise or some kind of movement and as I was going down, they totally turned and went to deep water. I spooked them. Damn. Those were big. Like four and five pounders. Makes me not want to go now, but that's the only bass I've seen for over an hour, so. I gotta go get something to eat. I think I'm gonna go have some biscuits and gravy. Dang it. There's one more thing I noticed. I was uh, here earlier changing the battery on this camera and it makes it like a really loud beep. I put the battery in and I turned it on and I looked down and there was bass down there. And it made the beep and when it made the beeping noise to turn on the bass shot out. I was, I mean, that's how far I was from the shore. Just that noise of the camera came on, coming on. Spooked the dang bass. It's good to know for the future. <laughs> anyway, I went ahead and turned it down to low. Because I like to know when the camera's on and off. But uh, don't want it scaring my fish. Anyway, for those who think that they don't hear noise, even just the beep of a camera turning on and off. They heard, he heard it. They heard it. Whatever you want to call it. It heard it. He, they, it. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm headed up. For reals. Tight lines, everyone. I'll see you later. <laughs>